In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a professional Reels cover for your Instagram feed. Hi friends and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Paris and we are all about tools and tips to help you grow your business with online marketing. So if you're an entrepreneur or business owner, consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on any new videos. To begin with, we are going to go to canva.com. If you have an account, you can sign in. If you don't have an account, you can sign up using the link in the description. You're also going to get access to 30 days of Canva Pro for free. So that is something that you could consider now once we are in the canva dashboard we are going to go to here where it says create a design we just click on that and then we are going to type in instagram so once i type in instagram you can see all the things that you can create for instagram now the challenge we have here is that we don't have an instagram reels cover dimensions what we have is the instagram reels video but that's not what we are creating we are going to go to the dimensions of the instagram story which is the same as the dimensions for the instagram reels video but you see now this is a still image so i'm going to click on that let me go to my instagram test account here to show you something this is what a normal post looks like when you go here to the reels you can see there's a reels video here so this one has no cover and if you want to learn how to create a reels video using canva you can check out this video here so we shall be creating a cover for this particular reels video so i'm going to go back to our blank canvas here the first thing that we are going to do is to add in a background so i'm going to go to elements and i'm going to uh, search for gradient backgrounds so we'll just look for one that we like i think i'll select on that one so anytime you see this crown here with pro written next to it it means that this is a pro uh, feature it means that once you're in the pro version this is what you're going to get as some of the packs of that but you can use a free one if you're not on the pro version so i'm going to click on the recommendations brought by clicking see also that i can choose one of the recommendations i'll choose this one so i can delete this previous one i'm going to take this somewhere here maybe at the middle and then i'm just going to drag it out uh, uniformly the next thing that we are going to do is that we are going to add in a square and i'll tell you what the square is for just now so we go back to elements and we are going to choose in this square so once you click on the square now you drag it outwards to ensure that it touches these ends of the rectangle so just hold alt on your machine and then you drag one of the corners outwards so at the point that it is touching the ends of the rectangle you can see that the width is 1080 and the height is 1080 and that is what we are going to leave it as why this is important is because if i go to a normal instagram feed let's go to the posts here you can see that the post is a square and it is a square of 1080 by 1080 now when you create a reels cover you want when this reels is seen maybe on your feed someone can still see it as a square because only the square part is going to be visible in the cover so that is why we want to ensure that when we are designing everything that is important is going to be within this square so to ensure that the square is in the right place try to center it so now let me try and change the transparency so that it doesn't shout too much so why i'm doing this is just to help me to design now the second thing i'm going to add in is an image i want my cover to have an image so i'm going to go to elements and i'm going to type in uh, maybe the image of a motorcycle so i'm just looking for a motorcycle just to make our cover more appealing i can use this one i don't want the background of the photo so i just click on the photo and then i click on edit image and then i'm going to click on background remover so that the background of this image is removed so now it's done removing the background so you click on apply and then i'm just going to try and resize it so that it fits uh, nicely inside our rectangle i don't have to have the whole image uh, inside here so i can just have it there now i'm going to add in some writings here to tell people what this reels video is about so i'll just press t on my keyboard to bring up some text you can see it here but it's very tiny so i'll just change the size here maybe to 100 and then i'm going to type in my text can have it as all caps so i have it there and then i'm going to uh, make some changes to this i'm going to change the font so I just click on the font then i look for the font that i would like to put i want to put anton okay you can see that um, it's a bit smaller now so that i can make it just a tad bigger and then i'm going to duplicate this text so now i can write here 
remove background. The Reels video that I created is about how to remove a background from a photo using Canva, just like you've seen me do with this uh, motorcycle. Then I'll also duplicate this one here. So I'm going to quickly just add in all the text that I need and then we can continue to design. I'm also going to add in a glitch effect to this. So I'll just click on the text and then I'll go to effects. I'm going to add in some uh, glitch effect on, on all of them actually so that when you look at it you can sort of see something happening in the background. I'm also going to add in some wavy lines here. So we'll just come to elements and we are going to type in wavy and then we are looking uh, for graphics. That's what we want. I can look for some wavy lines here. I can choose these ones. I'm going to rotate it and make it a little bigger. So we can have them running for most of the length of the rectangle. You can also change the transparency. Yeah, and, and I think that's okay. So once you're done designing, then you're going to hold on the square. Remember the square that we had? And then we can delete it. So this is our design as it is. And now we are going to download it so that we can have it as a Reels cover on Instagram. So I'll just change the name here. And then I'm just going to download it. An easier way to do this is just to go to your phone on the Canva app. And then you can directly download it from there. I'm just going to quickly do that. And then I'll show you on the phone how to upload it. Once the cover is downloaded and is on your phone, you want to go to the Instagram app. And then you just press the plus sign so that it signifies that you want to create something then you can press on reel and then you swipe up to look for your reels video and once you find your video you just click on add then if you want to add some music to it you just press the music icon there if you also want to add in some text you just click on preview and then you can add in some uh, text using the text icon. So I have a full tutorial on how to do this. And you can check it out here. So once you're done with everything, then you click on next. So that now you're just about to upload it. But just before you upload it, you click on where it says cover here. And now you click on add from gallery. So that you can click on the cover that we have just created. You can see the cover is here now and then you click on done then we can write a caption here so we've written in our caption so longer captions are usually good but we'll go with this one here and once you're done you can now press on share so that now the whole reels is being uploaded onto your profile so we can now go to our profile to see what it looks like. So you can see the cover here and then you can see that tiny icon showing that it is a video. So this is a Reels video. This is on the phone. We can look at it also on the desktop so that you can see it a bit better. So let me just refresh this. So you can see the cover that we created here now. And if you go to the Reels, you're also going to see that the cover is also visible. This is the first Reels without a cover and this is the one with a cover that you can clearly see that making a cover for your reels is something that you'd want to consider so that is how easy it is to create a reels cover using canva i hope you learned something if you did let me know in the comments down below subscribe if you haven't in the meantime have a good one and i'll see you in the next video